Meet George Deke. Born in Jaffa, or in Hebrew, Yafo, Deke is Israel's first Christian Arab ambassador. You can actually see both uh, Jaffa and uh, Tel Aviv here. You know, right. Jaffa is the oldest port city in the world it, that still exists. Really? It is at least 8,000 years old. And the funny thing is Tel Aviv is less than 100 years old. And we're called a suburb of Tel Aviv, Tel Aviv Jaffa. Well, I think it should be Jaffa Tel Aviv. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're big in size, but we're big in history. A lawyer by profession, Deke grew up in the Orthodox Christian community in Jaffa. So I love this contrast of the old and new, of modern and ancient, conservative, a small town, to this hyper innovative new city that is revolutionizing the world in many ways. I spoke with Deke ahead of his first posting in Azerbaijan, a Shiite Muslim majority nation. Why would a Christian Arab choose to be an ambassador for the Jewish state. I've dedicated uh, more than a decade now uh, for advocating for the case for, of the state of Israel. And I'm very passionate about this. It is an important cause that I truly believe in. How did you arrive at that as, a, as an Arab to em embrace Jewish values, the Jewish state, Jewish people? And I grew up a block away from where we're sitting right now. And in our building, there were four apartments. So on the first floor, it was us, an Arab Christian family. Across from us was an Arab Muslim family. Above them lived a religious Jewish couple. And on the other side, above us, lived a Catholic priest who was originally born Jewish, saved by a monastery during the Holocaust in Poland, he became a priest on the one condition that he would be sent to serve as a priest in the land of his forefathers in Israel. That environment for me symbolizes the essence of the diversity that makes this country what it is. It is where Jews and Christians and Muslims can live their faith without fear, where Arab doctors treat Jewish patients in hospitals in Tel Aviv and Jewish doctors treat Arab patients from Syria up north. Deek said supporting a democratic Israel also helps ensure a Christian future in the Middle East. Israel is just as important to me as an Arab, as a Christian, than it is for any Jewish uh, citizen of the country. Because I believe that a Middle East with no room for a Jewish state is a Middle East that has no room for anyone who is different. But your view is in the minority, isn't it? It's not so much a minority view, because people might feel it, but they don't always have the way to articulate it. But at the same time, what I do representing the state of Israel is not always warmly received by everyone. Some people like it, and some people don't like it. Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Several years ago, as Deke was speaking at the University of California, students calling themselves Students for Justice in Palestine interrupted his talk and tried to prevent him from continuing. How do you view the boycott, divestment, and sanctions movement against Israel? You know, Israel has faced many adversaries uh, since its existence. And today we see a new way of trying to put Israel in a crisis. And they're trying to put Israel, this time, in a moral crisis by trying to bring good and well-meaning people into questioning the right of Israel to exist. The reasons change but the hate stays the same. There's a commandment from the New Testament, love your enemies. How do you do that? It's not an easy commandment. It's probably the toughest one to handle for me as a Christian. But I'll tell you one thing, in the Middle East and in Israel in particular, we don't have the luxury of being a pessimist because only by keeping hope alive, mm -hmm. then we can aspire that hope will keep us alive. You know, a lot of people think that our stories, the Jewish story and the Arab story, are irreconcilable, that one comes on the expense of the other, that we cannot live together. I completely disagree. Deke's grandparents fled the fighting in Israel's War of Independence in 1948, yet, against the odds, they returned. And what is it that binds the Jewish story and my family and my community story together? It is the fact that we both endured a, a great suffering, and yet we chose responsibility, not victimhood. We both went through terrible tragedies and we chose self-help, not self-pity, life, not death. Mm -hmm. It is the story of hope. And if they could do it back then, there's no reason we cannot do it today. Are you assured that what you believe is going to secure the future for your children? It is a, basically a, a fact 
that Israel is the only place in the Middle East where people of all faiths can live without fear. It is the only place that shows a model how a country can allow you the possibility to be true to who you are and at the same time be a blessing to others regardless of who they are. But it is a fact that here it is the only place that still we have that light, we have the truth, we have that wisdom. Hopefully when I will have children, they will grow up in this country to be proud of who they are and to help others and to be a blessing to their country and to their uh, fellow citizens, regardless of who those people are. Scott Ross for CBN Tel Aviv, Jaffo, Israel.